Hey you guys, it's GED question of the daytime and we've got another word problem on our hands. Let's take a look. Lily filled a cooler with sodas for a backyard barbecue. There were 20 sodas, each a different flavor, in the cooler originally. Lily knows that her mom reached in and pulled out the orange cream soda already, but none of the other guests have arrived yet. You know how mom is always stealing the orange cream soda. Uh, Sorry, I have four teenagers and I just want to let you know that I would totally steal the orange cream soda from all of them. Let's move on. <laughs> what are the chances that if Lily reaches in and pulls out a soda at random, it will be the lemon lime soda? Okay, great. So I see this wording here. What are the chances? Oh, I probably would like to use my pen here. So the language says, what are the chances? That phrase there that I'm looking for the chances tells me that they would like me to find the probability. The probability or likelihood that event will occur. We know Lily's going to reach into this cooler. Now hopefully Lily has her eyes open. Uh, but based on the language here, it doesn't look like Lily's paying attention. It just says she's going to reach in and pull out a soda at random. So she's not looking. She's not trying to dig for this lemon lime. She's literally just blindly sticking her hand in and trying to f pull out a soda. And we want to see what the odds are that it's going to be lemon lime. Okay. Probability is always a number measured from zero to one. Zero meaning it's never going to happen. There's no chance. There's no lemon lime soda. She can't get one. Impossible. One means that she reaches in every single soda in there is a lemon lime. It's totally possible. It's going to happen no matter what, period, one. Okay. All the other probabilities are something between zero and one. And I always laugh when I share that with my GED class because... They're like, Kate, there's no numbers between zero and one. And I'm like, maybe y'all wish there were no numbers between zero and one because you hate those kind of numbers so much. But guess what? There are numbers between zero and one. They're called fractions, y'all. <laughs> we can talk about pieces and parts of numbers. We actually have various ways to talk about pieces and parts of numbers. We could do it with decimals. We could do it with uh, percents we often use. Uh, but Fractions are the way we usually go when it comes to probability. So what you're going to do when you have to do probability is you're going to make a ratio. The probability is the ratio of um, the number of times an event occurs. Okay. And I'm going to call that wins. We're looking for the probability she gets a lemon lime soda. Lemon lime soda is a winner. Okay. Out of the total possible things that could happen. So I always joke that, or not joke, but I just for short, remember that probability is wins over total. The number of winning choices out of the total number of choices. So let's take a look. Well, I saw this language here, that each of my sodas was a different flavor. So that means that there's only one possible lemon lime soda in the cooler. So there's only one winning soda. Now the question is out of how many? If you were not paying attention, you might say, oh, one out of 20 shot. There's 20 sodas in the cooler. She pulls out one, there's a shot, it's gonna be lemon lime. But you'd be wrong because you forgot about mom, the orange cream thief. This cooler no longer has 20 sodas. It used to have 20 sodas, but at the time Lily's reaching in, it doesn't have 20 sodas anymore. Uh, let's think about how many sodas it does have. If it had 20 sodas, but mom went in the way she always does, y'all know how mom is, and took out that orange cream soda, even though she's probably on a diet, there aren't 20 sodas left. Right now, at the time Lily reaches in, there's only 19 sodas left. And so Lily has a one out of 19 shot that she is going to pull out a lemon lime soda. There's only one lemon lime soda out of 19 total sodas in the cooler. One out of 19 shot. Now, you all, I hopefully know, uh, hopefully do know that all final fraction answers should be reduced. So sometimes we get up to here on a probability problem and we've got some more work to do, some reducing to do. But I happen to notice that my top number here is one. Um, I can't reduce one and make it any smaller. One is as small as we get in the reduction process because it's a process of division. 
Yeah, so I'm not going to get any smaller than this. This number is already reduced. This is my final answer. She's got a 1 out of 19 shot. And that's all you had to do. That's literally all you had to do. Put the number of lemon lime sodas on top. Put the total number of sodas on the bottom. Super simple. And this concept shows up on the, it could show up on the GED math test or the science or the social studies. And I got to tell you the truth, where I see it most often is on the science test. They like simple probability problems. Um, so go armed to your science test with this skill. But right on, if you have any questions, make sure that you drop them in the comments and I will be just pleased uh, to answer them.